Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. So if you're a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Libra, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Okay, we have love beliefs, fears of coming together, reaching out. This person could be going through some awakening here. You are learning to letting, you are learning to let go. You are learning to relax and let go. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. Um, this person could be thinking of marriage here. Um, this could be the one. Be, uh, below the marriage card we have this could be the one this person is understanding all the illusions and um like seeing things from a different perspective the hanged man kind of energy i'm picking from here this person definitely had some fears some like the fears were holding back holding this person back from reaching out to you with the reaching out card here you're definitely going to receive some sort of message some sort of communication from this person this person as i said they the way they look at things that is changing this person the way they look at love the way they see you the way they see this connection all of that is changing everything um this person is finally gaining some clarity and being able to see through all the illusion. This person is also being able to see their own issues, their own faults, I feel. Like they are receiving clarity. This could have, uh, for some of you, this, there could have been a third party situation. Uh, this person also could have made you feel like like this third party situation made you feel like you are not worthy of love or there's something about your um, worthiness almost like you didn't feel good enough it's very possible this person made you feel good enough or you right now feel that this person isn't good enough for you anymore 333 three, so this person isn't worthy of you anymore and look at that we have i have shuffled these cards we have the six of wands three of cups death i did say this person is going through some major uh, transformation here major awakening you could be going through that as well you we also have the judgment here was peeping uh, behind all of these cards judgment talks about second chances so we do have reaching out so someone is going to reach out to you because they want to transform how this connection is with the three of cups here the three of cups judgment also talks about reunion six of wands victory success the three of cups there's also three figures here right and i did mention this could have been a third party situation for some of you this person is scared to reach out to you fears of coming together and reaching out this person is scared to reach out to talk to you to communicate with you
मतलब रियली लाइक यू बोथ कुड हैव हैड अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्स सो सम ऑफ यू यू माइट थिंक दैट दिस वाज जस्ट अ प्लेयर देयर कुड बी सम डेविल काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम दिस लाइक द एनर्जी आई एम पिकिंग अप देयर कुड बी सम डेविल लाइक एनर्जी हियर डेविल जस्ट मींस कोडिपेंडेंट और टॉक्सिक रिलेशनशिप टॉक्सिक कनेक्शन देयर वाज सम टॉक्सिसिटी हियर we have the strength so you could be dealing with a scorpio leo so that is your energy the empress taurus or libra energy Okay. okay, let me keep this one. The page of wands. See the three of cups did come out. Three of wands. So three, three here. of pentacles six of swords the page of swords did have the death at the beginning of the reading like at the bottom of the deck the high priestess okay the two of pentacles the queen of pentacles okay what on the deck we have chariot Chariot came out in reverse. Seven of Swords. The Chariot came out in reverse. I heard good riddance. Like this person thinks you are looking at them like they are good riddance. that's what they are thinking doesn't necessarily mean you are actually feeling that way the three of pentacles so we do have three of cups three of wands three of pentacles 333 also saw the number 333 right okay Four of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the King of Swords. 
Mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles. Oh, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords here. So we do have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this is a true match. Also, Hanged Man, Magician. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer. Right. Or uh, another air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. Okay. Let's get into this. Okay. In the past, this person was eleven, eleven. In the past, this person was very immature. They were also very flighty. I did say you could be dealing with a player here, someone who put you in a third party situation. Um, so a player or third party situation, whatever the case might be, we do have the three of cups and the three of wands. So three, three there definitely could be a third party situation. This person put you in, but other, if not a third party situation, this person was very immature. They were flighty. They were behaving like a player. Even if this person wasn't exactly playing around or effing around you got the vibe from this person that they were being this player kind of energy the page of wands can be a very immature energy the page of wands isn't someone you build a future with the page of wands is they come and go as they please there's something someone with whom you can have a lot of fun but not someone you would like the, the page of wands is nowhere the kind of energy you would want to settle down with or have a stable good relationship with that's not what the page of wands is with the three of cups this person could have had a drinking problem or too much partying too much going out too much fun this could be the kind of person who loves a lot of attention um for some of you it's very possible this person was waiting for you to do something about this connection like they were just waiting 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 or they made a waiting game out of this they just kept you waiting like they they, they told you promised you something and they just kept you waiting it's very possible that's what's happened here and or for some of you this person wanted you to do something about this connection and they were waiting for you to make some royal gestures or move whereas they being they were being immature and flighty and whatnot could have been trying to manipulate the energy in a way magician almost tried coming out in this reverse this is this came out this way right so this is a neutral position an upright this would be a very good energy reverse it's a very awful energy neutral so this person was trying to manipulate the energy they weren't exactly being honest with you this person lacked the honesty and they definitely had a way with their words to manipulate people this person knows how to manipulate people and they were probably manipulating you. Again, I get this feeling that this person wasn't exactly entirely awful or bad or was playing too much games with you. But at the same time, this person wasn't giving what you what you deserved. They weren't being completely honest and truthful towards you. They could also have been a bit of sneaky energy. The page of wands can be that sneaky energy because the page of wands, again, is, is it's a hot and cold flighty kind of person. If you were in a third party situation with this person, then yes, this person was manipulating you, manipulating their words in a way that they can get a particular outcome out of you. Like they can 
you would keep giving to this person you would keep giving to this connection you probably were waiting for an offer from this person for the longest time but it just didn't come yeah this was a selfish person nine of cups they were busy filling their own cups and they were expecting they were just they just kept waiting on you to fill their cup of uh, cups here well they just held back from giving something to you stable don't have anything space to keep it i'm gonna keep it there. yeah the queen of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so you could have been that very nurturing very kind very caring energy or this was this person being they were married to they were married to some of you for some of you you were the you were being this very nurturing caring giving queen of pentacles energy and they took advantage of that <clears throat> Now, in the present moment, we have this person is actually, they want to work on this connection. They're stalking you. This person is really, really stalking you. And they could have blocked you or you could have blocked them. You both blocked each other. Whatever the case might be, this person has certainly found a way to actually uh, communicate with you. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. They feel awful about you. You could be dealing with an earth sign. We do have some earthy energy here. But um, anyways... Yeah, we have the three of pentacles, five of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also, we do have the ten of pentacles, page of pentacles, knight of pentacles. Yeah, a lot of pentacles here. Anyways, um, they certainly feel miserable without you, like left out in the cold. They feel abandoned. If you have blocked this person, this, uh, this person feels very, very abandoned by you. Because we did have the Queen of Pentacles energy at the bottom of the deck, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing, caring, giving energy. So when the Queen... And this person, as I said, with that Nine of Cups here, they were being very, very selfish. They were just letting you put in all the effort, whereas they weren't putting in the effort at all. So yeah, they, they do feel miserable without you. And the six of swords is that energy of this person wanting to move ahead, move forward, let go of the, let the past be in the past, that sort of an energy. Six of Cups, yeah. They miss you. They want to work on this connection. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. If, um, I did say at the beginning of the reading, didn't I? This person could be going through an awakening. The Hierophant can totally... Hierophant is a very spiritual card. Also, Hierophant is the counterpart to the High Priestess here. So, this is again that counterpart energy. But yeah, this person, again, as, as it is the counterpart to the High Priestess, the Hierophant is equally... Uh, spiritually awakened right so this person uh, they are waking up to this connection they are really missing you and they want another chance with you here the eight of pentacles actually want to work on this connection because they miss you also for some of you this person is when they go to work when they are working um when they are working basically when they are at the job or at the desk or whatever this person keeps thinking about you a lot it's very hard for this person to not think about you, not miss you, not almost miss this connection and miss the bond you both shared. It's very difficult for this person to do that. Some of them, uh, some of them uh, also is trying to distract themselves from this connection by working really, really hard, like working on their finances, working on their bag. Uh, it's also possible. Also, we do have the six of cups and the nine of cups here, right? So we do have the three of cups in the mix. Three of cups again talks about reunion. So yeah. 
Now this person sees you, um, I'm gonna clarify that. Chariot in reverse. Clarify the chariot in reverse. Okay. No, I'm not gonna take those. Clarify the chariot in reverse. Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords. And I did mention I'm getting the Devil energy, right? So here we have the Devil. All right. Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person. Um, It's almost like this person believes that you do not want any sort of forward movement with them. You do not want to give them another chance. You are done with them. This is what this person is thinking. You could have really blocked this person, seven of wands. Even if you haven't like blocked them for ev from every social media possible and then some other place. Uh, this person, you are energetically blocking this person. This person is feeling that blockage from your side they feel like you don't want to move forward the chariot upright is that energy of moving forward moving past uh the letting go of the past and moving forward looking towards the future chariot in reverse it's almost like this person is like they can't take off because there's literally an air balloon here right i with the chariot in reverse i get this feeling that this person thinks that you are not ready to take off which just means that you are not ready to move past whatever happened in the past. You are not ready to forgive them. You haven't forgiven them. You are you are blocking this new beginning. You're not interested in this new beginning. That's how they see it. Now, for some of you, this person also thinks with the three of pentacles. Um, they are stalking on. They are stalking you. They are keeping tabs on you, keeping an eye on you. Um, this person also could be going through like. If there are some like common friends, acquaintances, co-workers, whatever this person is asking around about you, especially what you are doing when it comes to your finances, this person is very, very interested in that, in your finances. You could also be doing something like collaborating with people and that is giving you a lot of attention. And this person is interested in what you are doing exactly when it comes to your finances. They are very interested in that. But yeah, this person feels like you're blocking them because you're already... This person also feels, I'm getting that energy that they feel that you are blocking this new beginning because you're already interested in someone else and you are hoping for a new beginning somewhere else. Not with this person, but you already have someone else in your mind, someone else you're interested in. And that's why you are blocking them because you're interested in someone new. strength leo energy look at that three of pentacles again hmm. this person thinks that you were stuck on them like in the past you were stuck on them you were thinking about them you could be dealing with the sagittarius by the way but uh this person thinks that you in the past you were stuck on them um, it was difficult for you to move on from them, but you have started moving on from them. I mean, you get it, right? Like in the past, you were finding it difficult to move on from them. You were stuck on them. This person was really, really living in your head, but you are moving on right now. So you are letting go of that past energy of feeling stuck with them. You're not stuck on them anymore. You have unstuck yourself. Yeah, that's how I could have put it. But yeah, you get it, right? You have unstuck yourself and you are moving forward. You're also balancing like they, they see you as someone who has gained a lot of clarity. You have also gained a lot of not gained healing, but you have healed. This person sees that you have healed that eight of swords energy. Eight of swords can be guilt. Eight of swords can be feeling stuck, feeling anxious, losing sleep. 
um, not feeling like you can see things clearly, having that foggy vision. This person feels like you have healed all of that and you have realized it's better for you to move on from them and let go of them. Now, this is how this person thinks or sees you. They also, yeah, look at that temperance and strength. This is like this person sees you as someone who is finding the strength to overcome this connection, overcome this person. You were in the past, you gave a lot to this person. You were very stuck on them. You were very interested in them. But now you are finding the strength to move on from them. So you're not stuck on them anymore. All right. Now, this person's true intention is, here's, here's the funny thing. They feel you have unstuck themselves from them and now they are stuck on you because we have the eight of swords here. So because you have unstuck from them, they are stuck on you right now. It's like this weird energy because you have let go of them, because you are moving on from them. Now they are more interested in you. Now they feel stuck on you. Now they feel the guilt. Now they feel the anxiety of losing you. And this person is thinking about all the happy times you shared together with the four of wands. The possibility of the future really, really is haunting this person. And they want a future with you because they know how happy you made them, how much you filled their cup of love. We did have the nine of cups here, right? Nine of cups and six of cups, how much you made them happy. You were a kind of wish fulfillment to them. This is what this person is realizing right now. And their intention is to have this union with you, is to not let you go is to have that another chance with you the king of swords this person is getting a lot of clarity here like whatever um unclear i, I did say right look beyond illusion right the king of swords is totally that kind of person who has the capability the king of swords is highly intelligent highly intuitive so the king of swords has the ability to looking be to look beyond any sort of illusion and to see the truth see the clarity and that is what this uh, it's happening this person is actually seeing the truth they're actually realizing oh my god i might have really lost libra libra did make me happy libra was my wish fulfillment they added value to my life yeah this is your energy they don't want you to be a missed opportunity this is your energy this is you right the empress so you are showing up in this reading and with the four of cups this person is actually going to come towards you in the future they are going to break the silence page of pentacles knight of pentacles ten of pentacles this person is actually going to break the silence that is here they will actually communicate and they will Tell you that they actually want to transform this connection with the death here. They actually want to let go of the past and bring in a new cycle. They have changed. Their perspective has changed. They have found clarity and they have understood your value. They now know what they want with you or they now know the possibility of this future with you. They now see you as the empress. I did say you added value in this person's life, right? And this person is understanding that. The Empress is someone, the Empress is the ultimate husband or wife, right? The ultimate partner. And with the Four of Cups and the Empress, this person knows that they have to balance themselves. They have to make a decision and they have to come towards you, right? Because if they don't, then this is going to become a missed opportunity again. And for, and this time, this might be completely over. And this person doesn't want this to be over. So they are very, very aware of that. Okay. So yeah, page of pentacles, knight of pentacles. We did have reaching out, right? Yeah, page of pentacles, knight of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Uh, that is actually a good energy because pentacles are very stable energy. So 
someone who will actually offer you the ten of pentacles will actually offer you stability marriage commitment long-term commitment don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others I did mention you were having a lot of guilt because that eight of swords right here's the thing when this person comes in they might be they might guilt trip you a bit they might talk about all the happy memories you shared together and tell you how much like how how good you both would look together how beautiful this connection can be this relationship can be how beautiful that po possibility of the future is just make sure this person isn't guilt tripping you and you just end up like giving in to this person just because you both shared a beautiful past together there were happy moments together You also have my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Yeah, this person is missing you. Alright. And I did show you the marriage card, didn't I? Yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles is happily married. Alright. Well, that's your reading, Libra. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.